Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today is something pretty exciting. We will be taking a look at all the upcoming updates for this month and a little bit into next month. Sorry, I had to get my hair good. Of 2021. So there is a ton of updates included in this, such as the Midsummer Festival, which we already got that update. The next update is Riding Club updates. We also have the Percheron Horse and new Maya Quest, as well as Yorvik Stable open house. So I will kind of be reading through these, giving some little insight into them and stuff like that. There is also one other thing I do want to check out. I saw someone post about it on Instagram a few days ago and they said that there were riding club, no, riding hall changes. So I do want to see that. I was going to do this in midsummer, but I saw it after the fact that I posted that video. So yeah, we are going to be taking a look at the updated riding hall terrain changes. And yeah, let's just get right into the video then. And please be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go. So this is the first thing I want to check. Love my midsummer outfit, by the way. But this is the first thing I want to check. And what? What? This is strange. What is going on? This changed too. It's like, what? Wait, what the heck? I'm so concerned. What is going on here? I knew they changed it, but this is draft this is a huge change how did it not be included in the update maybe they're planning something here or they're planning to put something here so that's why they actually changed it but what the heck wait they still make it so you can jump on the roof we love that but this is so changed it looks like there's space to add something here and also they added more um garbage here <laughs> the recyclables here so i feel like there will be something added here um i don't know but it feels so much more spacious like like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's just so much more space. And over here, it really does look like they might be adding something. I don't know if this is going to be for the riding club or riding club inspired since it is riding hall. So it does kind of make sense if they were to add something riding club themed here. They also have a bunch of plants. So it looks like if they add anything, it would start around here. So I don't really know, but they looks like it looks like they might be sizzling up a plan here. And there's also a a lot more space in the back as well as you guys can just see oh this is crazy that is a lot of space to say the least and it definitely looks like they might be sizzling up a plan here guys because they have a lot more space just look at that and also you could still jump right yeah you can still jump that's good we like that but they added some more trees and stuff and also a bunch of little plants down here and they also changed this walkway so it's more curved upwards i don't know if you guys can see that but it definitely definitely looks a bit more curved upwards like before it was just straight and now it's just kind of like see you were able to see up there before and now you can't they also added more trees here which i kind of like that makes it more of a path vibe and you could just look down and see that they are definitely planning something there because it does look a little bit awkward without anything there i don't know if it's just me but it definitely looks a lot awkward without anything there but that was just one thing I wanted to check out before the video actually begins, and this is the main point of the video, which is another next up in Jorvik little spoiler thing. I will be training in the meantime, so in case you guys want to train with me and stuff, feel free to. But this basically says next up in Jorvik, and if you don't know, these are the plans for the future updates during summer that Star Stable has been giving us. I always post these in community tab in case you guys want to check that out as well, and you don't have access to Instagram or Twitter or anything like that where Star Stable posts these. But it is next up in Jorvik. The caption says, next up in Jorvik, we have some amazing content coming up for you guys over the next month. Take a sneak peek at the exciting things on their way to Jorvik. Hashtag next up in Jorvik. The first one says, our midsummer celebrations are almost here. Let's welcome summer with the help of Jorvik Rangers and Riding Club, Hercheron, your vegans, Maya do, and your big stables open house. So that is basically what it says on Instagram. And now we're just going to scroll through and see all of these, what is upcoming, and kind of talk through them. Of course, we already know that we did get Midsummer in the update this week. So that is the first update mentioned in this little spoiler thing. It says, our Midsummer celebrations are almost here. Let's welcome Summer with the help of the Yorvik. So basically, you just helped out the Yorvik Rangers, set up Midsummer, set up the poles, and stuff like that. You 
you can also, there are like limited shops during Midsummer that you can shop at and, you know, just the everyday Midsummer kind of celebrations that come back every year. So that is really exciting as well, but we already got that in game. The next one, which is next week update, is super exciting to say the least. It is a riding club update. We're making it a little bit easier to manage your riding clubs. Not part of a riding club, now is the perfect time to join. So... I mean, this is really, really exciting in my opinion. Uh, now is the perfect time to join. It does look like they've added a bunch of things. I had scrolled through a spoiler account on Instagram and they said that there might be a new mailing system so you can mail just your club members. So I don't know if it'll be like a mail that everyone gets and the club leaders, club owners can send out or something like that. But I think this is kind of readable. I'll try my best. It says, welcome to Star Stable. In this update, we've made some quality changes to riding clubs as well as club leaders as a club leader you are now able to give per permissions or responsibilities to club members as burning while to see wait i can really read this at all so it looks like, in my opinion, from trying to read this or trying to decipher it in my best ability, it looks like club readers, not club readers, club um, leaders and club owners will be able to give some permissions out to club members so that club members could be able to invite people if given that permission or things like that. As a club leader, you are now able to give permissions, I think it says responsibilities, and to other club members such as as chores or something like that and there is a new feature in the club window as long as the club remains something so it just looks like there's a new feature in the club window i'm just looking through and the club is like the easiest word to find here and there's also an exclamation point so i don't know what that's about it says you can invite people you first i don't know what it really says but i tried my best to make the best of what this image says basically let me know if you can read it better down in the comments of course but yeah that is basically what I got for it so it does look like they'll be able to give out permissions to other people and there might be something new in the club window or something like that. The next update is the Percheron horse. By the way I did make a spoiler on this in case you guys want to see the early stages of the gates of this horse, the coat colors, and stuff like that. You guys can check this video up there in the corner or down in the description if I remember to put it there. Hopefully I remember to put it there. Anyways this says France's beloved gi gentle giant the Percheron has a history as rich and storied as the land from which it rose to fame. Now, this powerful horse is on its way to your vet. So, this is not next week's update. This is next next week's update. So, this is very exciting as the Percheron horse is an amazing horse in my opinion and I really love the coat colors that are introduced with it. These two right here in the little emblem symbol thing are probably one of my favorites, not gonna lie. I really, really like it and also the horses look beautiful and their coat colors look beautiful as well. They do have a special move which I think starts our stable was testing out with them the laying down special move but we're not too sure what it is as that was just the little sneak peek to the horse thing that cc creations did in her video the next one is the new maya quest so this is next 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 week's update and it says one of our favorite your vegans maya do gets her very own horse join her on a quest as she bonds with her new companion so this seems amazing as a quest since last quest line i remember her being like hey can i ride on your horse ha 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 because I love horses so much. So I think that'll be cool that she finally gets her own horse and it looks like we'll just be spending some time with her and her horse as she bonds with her companion, probably giving her some tips and tricks like that. But I think this is a main story quest. So that is exciting as you might have a chance to level up and stuff like that in the future as well. And of course, the last um, little spoiler thing for this month. Monthly spoiler things called Up Next in Jorvik is the Jorvik Stables Open House. Now this has come back a while for like three or four years now, maybe two to four years. I'm not too sure when they started doing this. I just remember four or two years ago, something around that time, the Open House has always come back with limited edition horses. There are always new ones added every year, so that is pretty awesome as well. It says the Open House is here again. Visit the beautiful open house arena, get new gear, and participate in limited time races. 
plus a brand new Arabian variation joins the festivities. So I think this Arabian variation could be the one from the Arabian spoiler videos that were put out a while ago when the Arabians were joining. There was one with stripes and another flea bitten Arabian, so it could be either of those. I really hope that somehow the one Frisian that is like super cute that was supposed to come out to the app but they changed their minds and said it wasn't going to be coming to the app comes out soon as well because that one is beautiful and I love it. I think this Arabian could either be the striped one or the flea bitten one which both are beautiful in my opinion and I don't. They do keep a few open house horses that are there every single year so in case you guys want to get your hands on some limited edition horses that is pretty much the time to do it and that is everything that is mentioned in this month's little spoiler thing and also next month's spoiler thing so this is pretty awesome to say the least. It says find out more next month and I will link this Star Stable account down in the description in case you guys want to check it out for yourself and yeah that is basically all of the upcoming updates and spoilers for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and what are you most excited for? Let me know down in the comments below because I'm pretty excited for a lot of these things but I'm super excited for the club update because I know that a bunch could be done with that and clubs are a very important part of the game so I am super excited to see what that brings and if there will be a new area located soon not area but like a building located soon that maybe is interactable or something like that would be pretty cool as well but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an awesome day yeah.